안녕하십니까 어, 주한 인도 상공회서 부회장 파철마입니다. <웃음> Honorable uh, Secretary Research and Development Dr. Abhinash Chander, Director General Dapa, Mr. Ki Jung Moon, Honorable Indian Ambassador to Korea, Mr. Vishnu Prakash, Managing Director and CEO Brahmos, Dr. A. Pillai, General Wushik Ryu, Executive Chairman, Korea Defense Industries Association, distinguished leaders from the Indian and Korean government and defense industries. This is a momentous occasion. On behalf of the organizers, I am extremely delighted and honored to welcome you to the India-Korea Defense Summit. The objective of this summit is to further strengthen the strategic relationship, the strategic cooperation that uh, our two governments started some time back. In 2012, India was the largest importer of defense equipment, closely followed by South Korea. There is tremendous potential between our two countries to work together given our highly complementary skills and achievements in the field of defense. DRDO is the leading defense research and development organization in India. I have also been informed that DRDO is the largest foreign exhibitor at ADEX and uh, with its display of cutting edge products. I would like to take this occasion to thank DAPA, DAPA, uh, Korea Defense Industries Association for their support to this summit. Once again, I welcome you all to this summit and I'm confident that this event will help in further meeting and strengthening defense cooperation as well as aspirations of the defense industries of our two nations bonded through ancient times and without any strategic conflict. Thank you very much. 아, 이렇게 만나 뵈서 반갑습니다. 그 방위사업청 획득기 국장 문기정입니다. 아, 먼저 그 한국 인도 방산 협력 및 기술 협력을 위한 세미나를 개최하게 된 것에 대해서 감사의 말씀을 드립니다. 아, 그리고 근본 그 세미나를 개최하신 그 DRDO 그 소장님 그리고 대사님께도 감사의 말씀을 전합니다. 오늘 그 한국 인도 방산 분야에 매우 그 열성적으로 노력하시는 분들과 리그 참석하신 그이 관계자 여러분께도 감사의 말씀을 전합니다. 인도가 그 한국 아덱스에 불수를 설치했는데 이는 그 아마 처음 있는 일이라고 합니다. 아, 이런 것은 매우 뜻깊은 사안입니다. 오늘 그 세미나가 좋은 성과가 있기를 많이 기대를 합니다. 아, 제가 그 인도에 아, 금년 그 10월 2일부터 6일까지 방문한 바 있었습니다. 그때 그 DRD와 그 산하 연구소인 ISSA 그 다음에 라스텍 아, 그 다음에 그 타타 파워 그 SED를 방문한 바 있습니다. 아, 그때 그 한국과 아, 인도 간에 아, 협력할 분야가 많다는 것을 느꼈습니다. 그 한국과 인도는 에, 60여 년간 수평적 관계를 유지해 왔습니다. 아, 그렇지만 어, 방산 분야에 있어서는 많이 그 협력이 부족한 상황이었습니다. 한국과 인도 간에는 서로 장점들이 있습니다. 어, 한국은 선박이라든가 또는 그 전자 분야 또는 제조 분야에 있어서 상당히 앞서 있습니다. 어, 반면에 인도는 소프트웨어라든가 또는 시스템 엔지니어링 이런 분야에 있어서 어, 상당히 그 강점을 가지고 있습니다. 이러한 그 각자의 강점을 어, 서로 연결시키는데 에, 우리가 해야 될 현재의 과, 과제인 것 같습니다. 
그러기 위해서는 양국 간의 그 협력이 굉장히 중요한 것인데 어, 그러기 위해서는 서로 간의 소통이 굉장히 중요한 부분입니다. 어, 소통을 위해서는 자주 만나고 얘기하는 것이 굉장히 중요한 부분입니다. 어, 지난 2010년에 한국과 인도 간에는 어, 국제 공동 기술 개발을 위한 MOU가 체결된 바 있습니다. 이를 기초로 해서 양국이 기술 협력이 더욱 활성화되고 좋은 과제들이 발굴돼서 성과를 내기를 바랍니다. 오늘 그 세미나를 통해서 양국이 서로 윤리할 수 있는 그러한 그 방산 협력 및 기술 협력을 찾아내고 협력이 활성화되기를 당부드립니다. 끝으로 오늘 그 세미나를 준비해 준그 관계자 여러분께 감사의 말씀을 전하고 성공적인 그런 세미나가 되기를 기대합니다. 한 인도 그 방산 협력 및 기술 협력이 활성화되기를 우리 서로 화이팅 합시다. 네, 감사합니다. Good evening. 안녕하십니까? Namaste. Let me first of all on behalf of my colleagues in the Embassy of India, the Indian Chamber of Commerce in Korea, DRDO, the Indian delegation, welcome all my Korean friends to this event. As Vice Chairman Parth Sharma said, this is indeed a momentous event. Let me also recognize some of the key participants without whom this event would not have been possible and also welcome Mr. Avinash Chandar, Scientific Advisor to uh, the Defense Minister and Secretary, Vice Minister to Government of India, Director General Dapa, Mr. Moon, Ji, Moon Ki Jung, and Director General, I agree with what you said that India and Korea's defense industries are complementary. I agree what you said that we need to talk more, we need to engage more to take our relationship forward. General Ryu Wu Sik, my old friend and vice chairman of KDIA, Mr. Chung, Chung Yon, president of COCAM, Mr. Uh, Yong Tae An, CEO of Gangnam Corporation, Mr. Parth Sharma, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is an event that we have been wanting to have for a very long time. It is well known that India has today, for whatever reasons, emerged as the biggest importer of defense equipment in the world. What is not uh, well known or not as well known is that we also have skills, we have strengths uh, in production of defense equipment and we have a reasonably good and broad uh, military industrial base as well as research and development facilities. India is producing an array of uh, quality cutting edge defense equipment to meet, essentially meet our huge defense requirements in India. For some reasons, we have not been proactive so far in sharing uh, our equipment, our technology with friendly countries. But thanks to the scientific advisor to uh, Defense Minister, uh, Mr. Avinash Chandra, we have, with this event, turned a new leaf. Uh, we have decided to have a visible participation uh, presence at the ADEX uh, in Seoul which I would tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's the first time ever that India is participating in this manner. I am also delighted that not only DRDO, the Defense Research and Development Organizations, but a number of key Indian private sector players uh, in, in the defense industry are also participating in the ADEX and this symposium. Uh, D uh, DRDO or Defense Research and Development Organization is a 55 year old organization with at least 50 establishments and more than 5,000 engineers and scientists 
directly working with DRDO. As uh, the ambassador of India to Seoul, I, I am convinced that, it, uh, that we could not have chosen a better country or platform to start a new process in our defense engagement with the outside world. We have India and Korea a long-standing defense uh, relationship. We had barely become independent, but India did not hesitate to send an army medical mission to Korea, to the peninsula during the 1950-53 Korean War. The uh, in Indian defense mi mission, medical mission, gave a very good account of themselves and treated hundreds and hundreds of thousands of defense personnel and civilian in this friendly country. Our relationship, I don't know how many of you know, but our relationship actually goes back 2,000 years. But uh, strength also is that we are constantly reinvigorating this relationship, reinventing this relationship. And I'm happy to say that in the last few years, the relationship has actually been transformed, actually been transformed. It has been transformed because we have a strategic convergence of interest. We have no differences amongst us. It has been transformed as India is becoming a stronger economy, bigger economy. Today, India is the third largest economy in Asia. Korea is the fourth largest economy. India is likely to be the third largest economy in the world by 2030. And we are already a $2 trillion economy and having, even today, one of the fastest growth rates in the world after China. So it's natural for countries like India and Korea, democracies, vibrant, vibrant economies to come together. And I'm happy to sh tell you that we today have a strategic partnership, a vibrant strategic partnership. We have signed a SEPA, or the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. We have an agri agreement of civil nuclear cooperation and the ties are becoming multifaceted uh, with a strategic convergence of interests. Both sides, ladies and gentlemen, are very keen to especially enhance our defense and security cooperation. You are aware that the defense minister of India was in Korea in 2010, and last year the Korean defense minister visited India. And given the momentum in this defense cooperation, we set up a defense wing last year in, in Korea. Uh, our national security advisor visited Korea last year, specifically with the desire to expand, to look at synergies in the area of security and defense cooperation. And that is precisely what we seek to achieve by the uh, visible, by the strong participation at ADEX and also holding the symposium. We want to have partnerships with our Korean friends in co-production, in co-development, in research and development, in uh, procurement of defense goods. Uh, and I think we can be, a, this will be a partnership which will bring, a, bring about lots of synergies. I hope that in the, during course of the symposium, we can identify specific areas where we can work together. And I can tell you that India is as keen, as committed as our Korean friends in taking this relationship forward. Thank you again, all of you, for joining us today. I wish the symposium every success, and I wish every success to endeavors to engage each other closely. Kamsamnida, thank you very much.